Hi everybody, it's Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio. Today I have another vintage quilt block for you. Today it is Lady of the Lake. Now this is an old block. Um, this was real popular about 20-30 years ago and I haven't seen it much since then but um, this block does take a little bit of extra time because there's a lot of pieces in it and this is made up all of half square triangles but today we have techniques that make it easier uh, you can use foundation paper if you want um, I'm just using the uh, draw line and so a quarter inch away method so um, it actually isn't too difficult of a block to make I think you just need to be confident with your skills on making half square triangles but anyway I hope you'll stay with me and I will show you how to make the Lady of the Lake block here are the fabrics that you're going to need to make the Lady of the Lake block for A and C you're going to need a 7 inch square for B you need four 3 inch squares D is five three inch squares and E is eight three inch squares now on your um, E squares you're going to draw a diagonal line on the wrong side of the of each one of these since we're going to be making all half square triangles for this block and also on your A and C squares you can pick one of these squares to draw your diagonal line it's not going to matter which one um, I would pick the one that's the lightest on the back and I think that would be the yellow for me so I am going to get a ruler and a pencil and you can use whatever kind of marker you want to go from corner to corner so let's do this move everything else out of the way And we're going this will make two half square triangles now you're only going to need one for this block but if you are making more than one block of this um, lady of the lake block then you've already got a head start on your second block so there's my line there and I can see that and then I'm going to do the same for all of the E blocks I'm going to draw a diagonal line on the wrong side now you can also use um, foundation paper you're going to need something that's going to give you a two inch finished half square triangle or two and a half inches unfinished so um, if you're using any kind of triangle paper you're going to look for that you're going to you need your half square triangles to finish at two inches so I'm going to go ahead and finish drawing a diagonal line on all of these and I'm sewing this the traditional method today but you can also use a seam guide on your sewing machine like uh, diagonal seam tape or I use a lot of times just a piece of glow line tape that I use for marking my rulers and I'll, I'll put that on my machine okay so the lady of the lake block is made of entirely of half square triangles so use whatever method works best for you on getting that part of the job done first thing I'm going to do is to make the center half square triangle with the A and the C square so I'm going to put those right sides together and then I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch away from this drawn line on both sides okay so I'm going to line up my fabric so my raw edges are even and I'm going to go ahead and put a couple pins in because um, this is a large piece here and I don't want it to shift okay I am going to use the 2.0 stitch length and then sew a quarter inch away from that line
Now you can use a um, pair of scissors like I'm going to use to cut this in half or you can use your rotor, rotary cutter and mat and a ruler. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this along the line that I have drawn. And now I have two half square triangles. Just like that. Now I don't need both of these for this block so I'm going to set one aside and I'm going to save the other. And I'm going to do all my pressing at one time. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my B squares and match them up with the E squares and then I will add in the D squares. So um, we're making lots of half square triangles and it's the same method as the large square. Only this time I don't need pins because the pieces are small enough that they're more manageable. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut these on the drawn line. And normally I just do this with scissors, uh, but today I'm just going to use my rotary cutter and mat. Now you'll have, I think, one extra half square triangle here too of the um, D color. Okay, so now let's press all of these open. I'm going to start with my large triangle and um, the value of my fabrics are equal. They're both medium value fabrics. So it doesn't really matter a whole lot which side I press this on. But if you have a dark and a light fabric, you'll want to press towards your dark fabric. 
so this one's all ready and this one's gonna have to be trimmed down too they all will so um, let me get these all pressed open and then we'll start the trimming process okay first thing I'm going to do is to trim down this square and that needs to be six and a half inches so I'm going to line my diagonal line up and this is a eight and a half inch ruler here so here's the six and a half inch line here's six and a half and here's my diagonal and this looks really close so we'll just have a little sliver to trim off and there we have a six and a half inch square so we just have these little slivers to toss so we're going to set that aside and then I'm also going to trim off this dog ear here okay I'm going to set him aside and go to my small half square triangles these need to be trimmed to two and a half and I'll do the same method with these at two and a half inches using the same landmarks okay so I'm just going to continue trimming these down to two and a half inches and um, then we'll lay out the pieces and sew them into rows and then sew the rows together to complete the block now we're ready to lay out the pieces so that we can sew the block together so I'm going to start with the center piece and I'm going to make two piles of the color of the small ones so here we have let's see let's go this way so on the corner that has the green this is we'll be placing the green smaller half square square triangles there the yellow half square triangles here so we're going to start in this corner and we're just going to lay them out and they're all facing the same direction here so we're going to put one in the corner and then three on this side and then three on this side and they're all going to face the same direction as this one in the corner okay and you will have one green one left over now on this corner we're going to have the background facing instead of the color and then these are all going to face the same way as this one too okay and now there is one here in the corner so let me scoot these down that one goes there so we're going to have four on this side and then one in the corner And then this one here okay so we have everything laid out and then you're going to have one extra of the small half square triangles of each color and then one large half square triangle here so you've already got to start on your next block now on the directions um, I don't have you lay these out before you start sewing them together I just tell you how to sew them so you're going to make one set of three of these greens that are facing this direction and one this direction and I want to show you the difference of those so if we have these three here and this set if we sew this set together and I turn them so that the greens are on the bottom of each you can see how they're facing different directions 
So that's how you want to sew them. Sometimes it's easier if you lay the block out first before you sew them into sections and sometimes it isn't. So I'm going to go ahead and sew these three together and these three, these three and these three and then we have the corners that we're going to add in just a little bit. So I'm going to adjust the camera and start sewing. Okay, so now I've put all of the pieces into place and this is what we've got and I'm going to double check because I have these two reversed. So here we go. Okay, so this is how they go and for these seams you can press them to one side, you can press them open you know, whichever way works best for you. Okay, so here are all the pieces laid out and we're going to sew this block together in rows now. So here is row one, row two, and row three. And for this row, you don't have to worry about points at the moment, but we have points here. So we need to watch those. And I would suggest using a scant quarter of an inch seam allowance, and that will help you avoid blunting off your your points there and um, then once I get all those rows together I'll press and then we'll then I'll uh, go ahead and sew each row to each other and then the block will be done.
Okay, here is the block and I'm going to go ahead and press the seams as they're sewn. And then flip over, open and I'm going to press towards the center of the block here, away from the points. And at these corners where you have eight seams coming together, here and here, it's going to be a little more difficult. It's going to take a little more muscle to uh, get those points in those seams flat. Uh, so you, you can press your seams open if you want, but um, I find it's not too difficult. just have to work at it a little bit. So here we have, and if you want to, you know, you can press those open as I said. Um, I don't know that that's going to really be too much of a problem for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and press it out and then here we go. So I think that turned out pretty well. So Lady of the Lake is one of those blocks that if you don't like doing half square triangles it's probably a block you've avoided doing and it's really not difficult i think it would be a lot simpler if i had used the triangle paper it would it would uh, cut back on some time especially for these pieces here now i don't have triangle paper large enough for this one but i could have done the two inch triangle paper with all of these half square triangles here so you might want to consider that so um, this wasn't that difficult, um, took a little extra time just because there's a lot of pieces in here. But um, all in all, it's um, a very interesting block. Um, it's going to add a lot of mov movement to your quilt if you make a quilt full of these blocks or even just if you add it a couple of blocks to uh, a sampler quilt. Um, I think you'll really like the effect. Okay, well that is it for the Lady of the Lake block. So I hope you'll give this one a try. This is a really interesting block. Um, it's an older block and um, used to see it a lot years ago. I haven't seen it much lately, but um, maybe we just need to bring it back again. So anyway, um, don't forget you can use foundation paper for this to make things go a little bit quicker and a little bit more accurate. Um, the method I used worked really well for me. I haven't had any trouble with blunting off the tips of the triangles. So um, I hope you'll give that a try. So if you like this video, please click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when the next video comes up. And in the meantime, I hope you're all staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. For more quilting ideas, click on the video links. And to keep up with my latest projects, click on the subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon.